What's up, everybody? It's Charles. I'm here with my man, Jason, oh, yeah. Engineering Explained. We are going to, oh, yeah, let me back up a little bit. We set out to make <laughs> one of the most amazing, informative, educational automotive YouTube videos ever. Per ha usual. As you would expect from the two of us. However, we have failed miserably or <laughs> succeeded. It's up to you, really. Jason's going to ask me some engineering questions, which I will do amazing at. I will ask him some automotive mechanic questions. The quiz, in fact, is called, Are You Smart Enough? to be an auto mechanic. And this quiz is called, Should You Become an Engineer? So we're gonna figure out if Charles went down the wrong career path. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Let's get started, Jason. I'm gonna ask you the first question. Okay. You I'm should... nervous because I'm not gonna know these mechanic questions and then people are gonna be like, why do I even listen to this? Many of us own cars, but even though, wait, that's the, the intro to the thing. Car owner. Let's back up. <laughs> All right, so you've already passed the first thing. Car owner and looker at her. You should never touch the tip of a blank bulb. <laughs> of what, Charles? The tip of a blank bulb because oil from your fingers can cause shorted bulb life. A halogen bulb or a brake bulb? Some would argue that it could be either one. I feel like it could be either one. Has there ever been such a thing as a halogen brake light? All right, so he's going to go, go with halogen. C, both. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it doesn't tell me which answer is correct, so I'm going to give you the point. Ding! <laughs> Woo! All right, Charles, I got a question for you. Your parents ask you to organize their messy record collection. Do you start tossing them in the trash, begin to neatly stack them against the wall, buy a crate to keep them in, but then but they have to go back to the store because they don't fit, uh, calculate how much space they will take up and find good storage options online. These are not that fun. What? I think it would depend on what kind of record. Is it like a music record? It's all ABBA. It's or, okay, so I think, ABBA. wasn't there like a throwing out the window option? <laughs> yes, I would buy them an the iPod. Trails. No, I would buy them a Zoom. A Zoom. I would buy them a Zoom. I think you're well on your way to being an engineer. Excellent. All right, Jason, question two. If a low mileage vehicle is running hot, assuming the radiator has enough coolant, the blank are most likely the problems. A water pump or thermostat, or alternator or spark plugs. Uh, the alternator. This is really. <laughs> the alternator makes it run hot? Yes. <laughs> oh. Have you ever seen an alternator catch a well, car? I feel like if it's low mileage, <laughs> shouldn't the thermostat work? I feel like if it's low <laughs> mileage, nothing should be wrong with it. <laughs> Man, I'm a bad mechanic. That's okay. Uh, I... Which of these subjects did you do best? Painting and pottery, recess and lunch. <laughs> Which of these subjects? Science and math, language arts. How do they actually ask? Are, are you better at recess and lunch or science and math for should you become an engineer? Clearly, I am best at lunch and... What about recess? I don't know. Would you say maybe science over yeah, recess? Yeah, I think science and lunch <laughs> were my two best subjects. I think you're halfway there to being an engineer. Back to the mechanic questions. In, which of the following should be the first step in diagnosing an engine performance concern? Road test the vehicle, discuss the concern with the driver. Ooh, bum, bum, bum. Wait, what was the question? Which of the following should be the first step in diagnosing an engine performance oh. concern? Road test the vehicle or discuss the concern you know, with the driver. I'm actually genuinely curious about what you think about this. I would assume that it'd be good to talk with the driver but they can probably make up all kinds of nonsense. And in fact, they do, or more like, more usually what it is is they just have no idea um, how to describe what's going on. So it kind of depends, you know, if you got the car there and you can't get a hold of the customer, you drive, drive it. Drive it. But I would, I would err on the, uh, or lean on the- uh, Chat with that chat customer. Chat with the owner first, yeah. <laughs> I like this question. What is the, it's just crazy that, anyways, you'll get it once I ask it. What is the lowest acceptable Median salary range. Negative 5,000. <laughs> and the lowest number it lists is 83 grand. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell does this serve? I mean, clearly the yeah, lowest acceptable no. is the most, the biggest, the most bigestest number. Yeah. Uh, what are the choices? Well, it goes 83 oh, yeah. grand, 100 grand, 120 yeah. grand, 140 yeah. grand. The lowest acceptable. If oh. you are an engineer and you are not making at least 140,000 in one dollar per year, um, you need to contact the survey yeah, company. Yeah, thebalancecareers.com. They owe you some money. You know, it's, yeah, I don't know. Also, I These mean. These surveys are terrible. <laughs> are you willing to take a written exam? No. <laughs> What's that's, right? That's one of the options. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll get all <clears throat> an answer for us. You can keep asking. Number four, blank could cause a vehicle to run poorly after the battery was discharged or disconnected. 
<laughs> a radio <laughs> code in need of being reset or learned value lost from the Ram. I think that is a sports ball team, the Ram. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So radio code or sports ball team? <laughs> sports ball for sure. <laughs> sports ball it is. Great job. Okay. Which picture looks most like you when someone tells you a story? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? let's make sure that's good and focused. This one right here, this guy. <laughs> that, that guy does look the most yeah. like you. They didn't see us pointing to that screen, though. <laughs> I don't even know how to interpret that. Clearly, mean, I'm an engineer. Like, there's. I wonder, though, there's one picture with one dude, and I wonder if they're like, dudes are engineers, and this yeah. is like some sexist yeah. website that I, can't I, have. I, yeah, I, I, I do see. look more like the dude than the ladies, maybe. So we'll go with her. Okay. <laughs> All right. When looking for vehicle-specific information, what vehicle information is needed to... Locate the information. What? Let me read that again. Owner's when, manual. When looking for a vehicle-specific service information, what vehicle information is needed to locate the information? <laughs> Year, make, and model, or vehicle identification number. Oh, it, they, they did the reverse of what people normally do, where they normally say VIN number. They did vehicle VIN. Vehicle so vehicle, VIN. vehicle identification number. Oh, VV. <laughs> yeah, VVIN. I put in some answers, and it says... Engineering is probably not a good career choice. Well, they got they got it right. You're missing too many of the qualities needed to make this a good option. <laughs> I've been called worse. All right, last one, and this is for all the marbles and points and cupcakes. Ooh. Blank is the common reason the check engine light comes on on most vehicles. Yes, cat. <laughs> a a wet engine. <laughs> Oh, man, what or, engine? Or, or B, a dying battery. Oh, dying battery. Will that, a dying battery sends a check engine light? It could. It could. Huh. Not, I wouldn't say that's a common reason, but I also wouldn't say wet engine is a common <laughs> reason either. You know, you know that wet engine? All right, so wet engine, uh, again, they don't tell you which, <laughs> what the answer is. I'm going to go D, neither, because that's a really dumb question. Oh, I got to go all the way back and do it. All right. No. Correct. A dying battery would not cause the check engine light to turn on. Oh, you are incorrect. It is not the vehicle VIN. It's make, it's the model, make and model and year, which, which the VIN will get, give you. You can't get that from a VIN. <laughs> no. All right, you got all the rest of them correct. You are, in fact, good enough to be a mechanic just oh. like Megan Fox <laughs> on the top of the uh, thing. So clearly we are both on the wrong career path. I should have absolutely been an engineer. Yeah, you, you got be. lunch down. <sighs> it's freaking and, weak. And your minimal acceptable median salary is 83 grand or 140 grand. 140 grand. So with that, you have wasted approximately 12 <laughs> minutes of your life. Sorry about that. But um, I have no thing that I can say other no than I'm thing. sorry about that. So, so commonly referred to it as nothing. <laughs> nothing. Be sure to check out Jason's channel if you don't already. Two plus million it's of you already. just as good as this video. Except better and more handsome because it's just Jason. Lean, hot. <laughs> Clickbait. <laughs>